Hi folks, this is Jake from Tier 3 Tactical. Today we're talking about my newest program, the 15-week Lift Heavy Run Fast program for functional fitness. This is part one. This program is designed to allow you to lift some heavy weights, allow you to run faster, and specifically sprint faster. It's going to combine the latest research on functional fitness and concurrent style training, which just means lifting weights and doing some cardio there. And what we're going to do with this program is increase your strength, increase your running, and maintain um, your muscle mass or increase it a little bit. So let's get into who I designed this program for. To be perfectly honest, I designed it for myself. I noticed that my general fitness is increasing, I'm getting stronger, and my wads are going up, but my running ability and conditioning has gone down a little bit. So I designed it to help shore up some of my own personal weaknesses, and obviously this isn't only for myself, otherwise all the workouts require jean shorts and mustaches. Um, so it's good for quite a number of people. And Specifically, these are some folks that I think that could benefit the most from this uh, program. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is tactical athletes who need muscle mass, strength, and running ability. And next would be a functional fitness athlete who has a defi deficit in conditioning, that's me. Athletes that need to drop some body fat without ruining their fitness. That's going to be folks just trying to drop a little body fat, and maybe get ready for beach season. And lastly, that's uh, I think team sport athletes, soccer, football, rugby, hockey, you name it. I think uh, they are going to benefit a lot from this style of program. Uh, this program is going to be a total of each part's going to be five weeks in length, with the last uh, week being the deload which is a little bit of a departure from what I traditionally like to do, but we'll see how that goes. Without further ado, let's get in to the program. Before we get into week one, I just do want to point out that there is a PDF download with all the, um, all the different pieces that you're going to be doing for it, so that link is going to be found uh, below in the description, so go to that if you want to see the full program and get that PDF. All right, looking at week one, we've got... Quite a lot of blocks here. Each block is a separate style of um, or component for the um, overall program. As you can see, it's color coded. So the red blocks are going to be your main lifts. Blue are going to be your running days. Gray is either an accessory movement or a wad. Um, and to cover some basic housekeeping here, I generally don't care how you like to do this. If you want to split the running from the lifting up, that's probably the best. But if you don't have the time to do that and you want to do it all at once, by all means, knock it out, but I would recommend you do the lifts first and then the run. Um, otherwise, I generally don't care how you split up your, your workout. Try to do it as close as possible to what I've written. If you have to scale, that's okay. I've included some links on scaling a little bit further on, but um, definitely check out that link if you want all the information. But uh, in general, you're going to be lifting heavy very often, running three times a week. You're going to have three um, main wads as well. Moving on to week two. You can see that I've increased the volume or increased the intensity in most of these blocks. You're either going to be lifting a little bit more or a little bit heavier. For the run days, I've added um, either one more interval or, um, or a little bit more duration for the run, depending on the goal of each run. And the wads are generally the same, and if uh, you pay attention, you notice that they actually kind of complement the lifts. You'll be using kind of similar muscle groups or, um, in some cases, muscle groups that are completely different so you can um, have a good workout the next day without much interference. If you like these types of awesome programs but maybe just want to focus purely on functional fitness strength, check out the premium program. Um, I'll put a link up in the description below, but um, that's going to be one of my best strength programs, and over a couple hundred thousand people have actually already taken a look at it, so it's very popular. You can give it a look-see. All right, let's move on to week three. This is starting to get fairly heavy. At this point, this is still the intro of the whole program. This program is going to be several months in length, um, so none of the lifts, you know, we're looking at 82% for a 5x5 five five for most of them. Um, none of them are max effort lifts, but they should be fairly heavy. Same thing on the running days. You're going to see more uh, volume and a little bit more speed and difficulty. But at this point, you should be feeling fairly good about it. Um, the wads and accessory works also increase in difficulty, but not, not more than you can handle. All right, let's move on to week four. This is traditionally would be our deload week. That's how I normally like to write programs. Uh, but this week, uh, it's going to be our heaviest week with the next week being a deload. So this is going to be as hard as it gets before you get a little bit of a break. And it's okay if you feel a little bit run down 
I recommend you warm up a little bit more. Try to get a little bit more sleep and, you know, maybe a, a few more calories, and that should kind of help you out. Um, but if you feel um, just not quite 100%, that's okay. Don't worry about it too much. All right, we're at our last week, week five for this part. The lifts are still fairly heavy. I like to keep it fairly heavy, um, but I cut the volume uh, roughly by a third, so that actually allows you to recover. Resist the urge to do extra work or extra conditioning or anything like that. Just do what's written there, um, and you'll find that you feel pretty good uh, by the last day here, and you'll feel really good going into that next part. So um, stick with it. It's still fairly intense, so you're not having a real easy week, but uh, it's not going to be quite as hard as week four was. And if you like this kind of program, but maybe you're you're working on just building muscle, recommend you check out the eight-week functional bodybuilding hybrid program I've got. It's another one of my premium programs, and again, another one that several hundred thousand people have taken a look at at this point. So very popular one. As we all know, just having an awesome program and working hard in the gym is only part of the equation. You can't eat like a raccoon, i.e., out of a out of a dumpster and just eating garbage. So. Um, I've included some good links in the actual article itself. I've got my nutrition guide and my nutrition calculator. Um, that's going to cover things like macros, calories. It's going to give you a good calculator to calculate how much you're actually, um, how much energy you're burning during a workout or during a session. So give that a, a, a look. It's all free um, downloads from Dropbox, like all my other stuff. So give that a look. And I've also included some links for recovery. Um, Recovery is pretty simple. We make it too complicated here in functional fitness world. Sleep seven, eight hours a night, drink some water, and eat an adequate amount of food. Um, supplements and therapies of limited utility. There are a few things that are beneficial, and I've included a link um, to scientifically backed recovery methods. But long story short, the best one's just easy cycling to cool down or easy walking. Um, there are a few supplements that are somewhat useful. And also, wear tights. Um, if you want more on why that works, check out the link in the article below. And lastly, don't overcomplicate this program. Nothing about this is super complicated. It's pretty much a linear uh, periodization program, adding volume, and I've set it up in such a way that it's not going to interfere with each other. You're not gonna, you shouldn't be going into any workout thinking that your legs are super sore and you got to squat heavy or anything like that. So it really is designed to get you into this style of training where you're going to be running pretty hard three times a week wad three times a week and then lifting multiple times a week so if you like this kind of program stay tuned there's going to be parts two and then probably a part three for this as well if you have any comments or questions put them below and i will get you an answer now you have everything you need get out there and get training <laughs>